guys, welcome back. This is Ajax here. Today we're going to talk about laptops for computer science majors. So I know a lot of you may have been looking through forums or doing Google searches or even looking on YouTube. When I was starting out, I couldn't find any videos to be as helpful, but I'm going to give you some computer specs that will be helpful for a laptop as well as maybe three to five laptops that I think are the best for CS majors to last you the all four years. So to start off, we're going to talk about the CPU. So I would say for those who are on a budget, you're going to want to get an i5 CPU, 7th gen or 6th gen since it's not a big gap, but the KB Lake, which are the 7th gen, are way better than the 6th generation. Um, next, we're going to talk about a RAM. I would say at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, especially if you're going to be using Chrome, or certain IDEs that suck up a lot of RAM. Um, I know me, I use Android Studio, so the bare minimum required is four gigabytes, so you I, you would wanna double that. Um, if you're gonna use a PC, I would recommend having a solid state drive in your laptop, even if it's 128, 256, or 512. I would say 128 to 256 is fine to last you for the years, because of course you'll be backing things up on an external hard drive which is probably going to be 4 terabytes or if you have a thumb drive you can get a 128 gig for like 32 bucks so right there for 32 dollars you just doubled your storage if you got 128 um, gigabyte solid state drive okay to start off if you guys don't mind refurbished products I would recommend the Acer E15 on Best Buy it's under $500 and it comes with a 940MX graphics card so that's a plus. For under $500, you get a graphics card. Granted, it's a couple years older, but it's still a graphics card nonetheless. If you don't want a refurbished product, you can get a brand new one from Amazon for roughly $600. Bucks. Um, but it's not from Amazon directly. It's from sellers on Amazon. So uh, if you are open to that, there's that option. For those of you who are HP fans, right now on Groupon, for a thousand fifty, I know that's over fifty dollars over my five hundred to a thousand range. But for this price, you get a thirteen inch HP. It comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, two point five gigahertz CPU. It's a thirteen inch and it has two hundred and fifty six gigabytes solid state drive. That is amazing. Also, this laptop has a USB Type C, so if you wanted to, you can attach an external GPU if you wanted to do some light gaming on that. Again, for those of you who are not fans of refurbished products, on Best Buy they have an HP for $699. It comes with 128 gigabytes solid state drive, 2.5 gigahertz CPU, Intel i5 7th gen, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and integrated graphics 620. And this is at uh, 14 inches and you get 8 hours of productivity on this. I didn't forget about those who like to play video games on their laptop. So I know you guys have heard this, um, but the Dell Inspiron 7000 gaming series. So their laptops are really well, I'm not saying it's a gaming beast by any means necessary, but it's one of the lighter gaming PCs out there. You get 256 gigabytes of solid state drive, you get 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you can also upgrade that up to 32 gigabytes. Now I did tell you guys that you're gonna wanna get a laptop that you can upgrade later on down the line. This is the perfect laptop right here. And it comes with a GTX 1050 Ti. So that's one of the newer graphics cards for laptops. I mean, some laptops have GX, GTX 1060s, but, um, and 1080s, but those are way heavier and last about two to three hours without a charging port right next to you. So you don't want that, especially if you're gonna be bouncing from class to class and in the library. So this is at $900 for these specs. Um, I believe on the Dell website, it's a little bit cheaper, but you get less specs. But at the end of the day, if you're the type of person who could open the back and upgrade the RAM yourself, I would say go, you know, I don't think they have a four gigabyte model of this, but and I don't think that's gonna be such a price difference if you get a 4 gigabyte and then buy the RAM yourself, it's going to pretty much equate to the same thing. But what I can tell you is that on Best Buy Open Box, again, for those of you who don't care about refurbished or brand new Open Box, instead of paying $900, it's $800 Open Box and it's in excellent condition. That means someone opened it, turned it on, was like, nope, I don't want this, and brought it back to the store. So you can save yourself 100 bucks just by buying an Open Box product. 
Again, if you can have a laptop and a desktop, I would recommend getting the lower SSD so you can save $100 here and $100 there. Um, or if you have a monitor, you can just plug your laptop into that, buy a keyboard and a mouse, and there you go, your machine is now your desktop. I would recommend these three to four laptops that I mentioned, only because it's going to last you for the four years, and you don't want to get two years in and your shit crash on you or break, or it's not powerful enough and you can't add RAM, and then now you got to spend another thousand dollars. So this is going to last you for the next four years. If you have the money, I recommend getting a MacBook. I personally can use any machine as long as I have a solid state drive and enough RAM. It moves fast enough, I'm fine. I use PC, Linux, Mac, doesn't matter. I'm flexible. But for those of you who are not, PC, make sure you have a solid state drive. I'm telling you, if you have a hard disk drive, you're going to drive yourself crazy because it's going to be extremely slow and you're going to be like, why the fuck are my programs taking forever to compile, to open, or to even run? Like, trust me. Um, but this is Ajax here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Ajax out.